Right now, thieves targeting catalytic converters appear to be getting more brazen, stealing the valuable car part in broad daylight. You can see several men in masks using power tools to cut out that car part underneath there as people look on and even scold the thieves. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza went to the Avondale neighborhood where this happened. And Sabrina, you spoke with the person who took that video. We did in catalytic converter thefts. They're not new, but as you mentioned, this one happened in broad daylight. Neighbors tried to step in. They even spoke to the people in the middle of the theft itself, and still they were successful. The whole thing was caught on video. This was an afternoon walk for some Avondale neighbors yesterday. Not what they were expecting to see or hear. Drilling underneath a car, a catalytic converter theft in progress. Just before 6 p.m. Guys, you kidding me? The thieves see them recording and keep doing what they're doing. The stolen parts go in the trunk anyway. Down the one-way street at Wellington near Washtenaw. It was bizarre because they acted like it's normal. <laughs> And it's not normal. The same neighbor that took this video didn't want to be identified for fear these guys might come back here. I've just been hearing people getting their catalytic converters stolen. We had ours stolen. So I was like, I'm just going to come up to them and ask them what they're doing. They say they called Chicago police. Did get the video and um, the license plate information. I'm just hoping that something comes out of it. <laughs> but when we asked CPD about this, they couldn't give us any updates. You feel like you violated, they, uh, you report it, nothing happens with the cops. The same thing happened to Jimmy Munez a few houses down a few months ago. Two guys uh, ripping off uh, my catalytic converter and uh, my brother's uh, catalytic converter. He says it was around $850 just to replace his car's part. That's like you just finished cutting my legs off. You know, I can't go nowhere if I ain't got a vehicle. We've been speaking to neighbors all day, and pretty much every single one of them has said they feel helpless. They don't know what to do. Well, one possible solution, the Cook County Sheriff's Department is holding events, one of them happening right now in Warren Park, to paint catalytic converters pink, rendering them, rendering them not sellable. They say they'll have other events like that in the coming days. We'll keep you posted as soon as we hear more about those catalytic converter events. We're live in Avondale. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. It is frustrating in broad daylight and on video. Thanks, Sabrina.